your certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert Meteorologist Matt Bullock. And we're giving the first alert to a gloomy start to our Saturday morning. You can see those overcast skies all across the Grand Strand and the PD over in Florence dealing with some scattered rain showers. And then Conway as Coastal has their uh, home opener against William & Mary. And we'll see those showers in the morning, but by game time, things continue to look great. First alert radar, as I mentioned, we're going to continue to track those scattered showers, mainly across the PD, Grand Strand. They're pretty much quiet, but we will see this on and off light rain showers as we head to the morning hours. So as we head to about lunchtime, those scattered showers will begin to taper off, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies. Now, there will be enough moisture to produce isolated rain risk as we head into the afternoon. Highs will stay upper 70s to near 80 degrees this afternoon as we head to the overnight hours. Cold front will begin to move through our region. This will bring that isolated risk for some showers for tonight and also for tomorrow. But the big difference is talking about the big temperature drop and also the humidity drop. So rain chances today, again, if you're trying to make any plans, again, the best chance of rain will be during the morning hours. So if you are, if you are heading out to the largest uh, garage sale in Myrtle Beach, again, you wanna keep the umbrella handy for the morning hours. Afternoon, you can pretty much risk it. You really don't need the umbrella for the afternoon. Just those mostly cloudy skies that will continue for tomorrow. But the big difference with these temperatures is the humidity drop. Now we'll stay in the upper 70s tomorrow, but as we head into uh, Sunday afternoon, we'll have that fall cold front move through. That's the isolated risk for those showers, but it's the humidity drop. Look at our muggy meter. We go from the steamy category from the past two days down into the very low category for tomorrow. And we'll continue to stay very pleasant throughout the work week. So expect to see this lower humidity, this drier air start to filter in. That's going to feel a lot like fall. So get your pumpkin spice lattes ready for the next couple of days. And also have the fall decorations up because again, it's going to feel very comfortable for the next couple of days. Temperature wise, we'll stay below normal upper 70s to low 80s where typically this time of year we see highs right around the mid to upper 80s. So Cooler than normal temperatures will continue to stick around as we head into next week. Besides the fall like weather, talking about the tropics, we're just three days away from the peak of hurricane season. The peak of hurricane season is September 10th. Today is September 7th. And so talking about the tropics, we do have two areas to watch out for. One system has a 30% chance of tropical development in the next seven days out in the Atlantic. Then we have another system, the Gulf of Mexico, that has a 60% chance of tropical development. Again, this is likely to become Francine. We'll continue to watch that system as we head into next week. Some of the models are showing the idea of showing some rainfall, the remnants of that system, as we end a Thursday and Friday into next week. But talking about for this weekend, best chance of rain for this morning, and then cloudy skies will continue for the afternoon and for Sunday. That cold front starts to seep down. That's going to bring lower humidity. Temperature-wise, we'll stay below normal, upper 70s to low 80s. But overall, you really can't complain with this type of weather.